vice chairman of the board of directors of the Walt Disney Company. Let me be the first to welcome you as we celebrate the 25th anniversary of Walt Disney World. Over the years, we hope we've brought a lot of happy memories to our guests, but that's nothing compared to the memories our guests have created for us. Right, Mickey? Right. So today we're dedicating this celebration to all the people who visited us in the last 25 years and everyone who will visit us over the next 25 years. So sit back, enjoy, and remember the magic. This is your chance to join people from all over the world as we kick off all the excitement of our silver anniversary year. to an inside-out look at a once-in-a-lifetime event, Walt Disney World's 25th Anniversary Kickoff, a 15-month-long anniversary celebration. Join guests Drew Carey, Ellen DeGeneres, Michael J. Fox, Broadway Tony Award winner Savion Glover, Joey, Matthew, and Andrew Lawrence, NYPD Blues' Sharon Lawrence, from Boy Meets World, Ben Savage and Ryder Straw, the Pointer Sisters, Jeopardy's Alex Trebek, with anniversary greetings from All for One, Chevy Chase, Kermit and Gonzo, Lori Metcalf and Roseanne, Joe Montana, David Robinson, and a very special appearance by the President and Mrs. Clinton. We got Dopey over here and my favorite Minnie. How you doing? <laughs> to kick off the biggest party since the world began. Yeah, Walt Disney World's Remember the Magic Celebration. Now, Disney World is celebrating its 25th birthday, and you're all invited to help blow out the candles, including Dopey. <laughs> and we're going to need every one of you because they've transformed Cinderella's castle into the world's largest birthday cake. And on the past few weeks, we've shown you the model. You've seen it under construction. And later on, they're going to get a chance to look at the final masterpiece. But you can't see it yet, because you'll spoil the surprise. That's right. Now, this party's only going to last for 15 months. So if you don't get down here, you're going to miss the new songs, the attractions, the parades. And we have lots of friends here to help you celebrate. 10,000 members of the media have flown in from all over the world to cover this star-studded celebration. You'll see 2,000 performers, a 200-voice choir, and a 1,076-piece marching band just like the one that performed at the original Walt Disney World dedication in 1971. Yeah, now, since that day, you've made more than 500 million visits to Walt Disney World. For this anniversary party, Disney is trying to get the word out to every one of you, inviting you back to join in on the celebration. And to welcome you back, Disney's created magic moments. Every day, families just like yours will be invited to do some of the coolest things at Disney World. Yeah, now, these are things that park guests have never done before. Meet the Capron family. They're coming back for the 25th anniversary, and they'll be our eyes and ears for this whole celebration. They flew in from New Jersey this morning, checked into their hotel, and headed over to the Magic Kingdom's Welcome Center to say hello to some old friends. And right now, they're about to meet two of Disney's big cheeses. Oh, yeah. Hi. I'm How are you? I'm Roy Disney. I think you know Mickey, don't you? Hi, Mickey. How are you? Hi, Nick. How are you? Introduce the rest of your family here. This is my wife, Diane. How you doing? This is my son, Christian. And this is his twin brother, Craig. This is our daughter, Casey. Casey. And this is our oldest daughter, Carrie. Hello. Carrie. How many times have you been here to the Magic Kingdom? Well, we've been to Walt Disney World 18 times and into the Magic Kingdom dozens. Wow. Wow. I know it's almost more than I have. <laughs> <laughs> what are your favorite things here? Scary rides. Scary rides. 
Okay. Blizzard Beach. Uh-huh. If you had one thing you could do at Walt Disney World, what would it be? Oh, the drive the monorail. Drive the monorail. Uh, I've always think, wanted to do I that. I think we could probably arrange that. Oh, all right. That's Come on, fun. let's get going here. Okay. Have fun, you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. See you later. Bye-bye, Mindy. Bye, Mindy. I'm here on Main Street, USA, where they have a fabulous new way to celebrate Disney World's 25th anniversary Remember the Magic Parade. It has all my favorite Disney characters and fantasies in it, but instead of just hearing me talk about it, I think I'm going to let you see it, because I've got a little Disney magic of my own. guests can be a part of it. You might get to dance with Cinderella's court dancers. Or you could be our guest to set the table at the Beauty and the Beast float and maybe even join the kick line. Uh-oh. I think I hear those jungle drums. That must mean the Lion King float is here. Hakuna Matata, everybody. And there's the Capron family being invited to join in this incredible parade. Okay, all you jungle types, get out here and find a drum. Play loud, people. This is the real thing. I'm gonna be a mighty king. Let up and beware. Fifth anniversary to one of my favorite places, Walt Disney World. Well, I suppose this is an okay place, but I kind of miss the theme park that was here before Disney World. Oh, uh, what was that? Well, you remember, dirty, muddy, mosquito-infested swamp world. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those were the days. Yep. But uh, anyway, happy 25, WDW. You know, I miss the muck slide most of all. Kinds of. Oh. Just be right back there. <laughs> you know, Gonzo makes a really good point. We're not only celebrating 25 years of fantastic family entertainment, but we're also celebrating an incredible achievement. Yeah, you know, looking at this place today, you'd never guess that 30 years ago it was a dirty, muddy swamp world. <laughs> that bad. But it was 1965 when Walt Disney and his brother Roy announced their plans to build Walt Disney World here in Central Florida. And you know, Brian, there had to be men of incredible vision to just look at a wilderness twice the size of Manhattan and see the world's greatest vacation experience. It took thousands of designers, engineers, and environmentalists, and 9,000 laborers to get it done. But Disney World soon began to rise right out of that wilderness. The Cinderella Castle alone took 18 months to complete. Walt didn't live to see his dream turn into a reality, but his brother Roy was there opening day to welcome everyone to a magic kingdom where the young at heart and of all ages can laugh, play, and learn together. Enough about history. Let's talk about something near and dear to our hearts. Food. We are here at the world-famous Cafeteria of the Stars. Did you know since Walt Disney World opened in 1971 that over 75 million people have eaten hot dogs? 39,000 tons of french fries. And all you cows out there, turn off your TV. In the past 25 years, Disney World guests have eaten 100 million hamburgers. Make that 100 million in three, Joe. Mm -hmm. You're a funny guy, man. I know. <laughs> Come here to see. Yeah, well, they came to the right place because it's part.
part of the 25th anniversary celebration, Disney has built Mickey, Minnie, and all the Toontown friends a new home. You want to go to the grand opening? Disney World's 25th anniversary celebration is Remember the Magic. And there's no magic like the look on a kid's face when they come here for the first time. As a matter of fact, here's a picture of my first time with my twin sister and little sister in 1976. It's something I'll never forget. And this week, as part of the celebration, Disney's invited 2,500 members of the Boys and Girls Clubs of America to be their guests. The Boys and Girls Clubs are dedicated to improving the lives of kids. For more than 100 years, they've given people support, education, and a place where they feel like they can belong. Millions of members have gone on to accomplish great things. Members like Denzel Washington, Robin Williams, Michael Jordan, Shaquille O'Neal, even President Clinton. But the only thing these kids have to accomplish this week is to have an awesome time. Happy 25th anniversary to Walt Disney World! Walt Disney said that his theme parks would never be finished, that there'd always be something new to see every time you came to visit. Tonight is part of the 25th anniversary celebration. They're opening a brand new universe of energy with TV's Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres. Hello, and welcome to the universe of energy. You're probably surprised to see me here, aren't you? Not that there aren't other places you'd be surprised to see me. I mean, if you, if you were at home and you're going to do laundry and you open up the washing machine, you're going to pour some soap in, and I'm like, hey! And the soap goes in my mouth because I'm saying, hey, what are you doing in my washing machine, is what you'd say. Or if you're changing the, the cat litter box, and I'm in the cat litter, because <laughs> there's litter in my mouth, you'd think, what are you doing in my litter box? But the point is to see me here as a spokesperson for the universe of energy. I mean, you know, I'm an expert on a lot of things. You know that, and I know that. We both know that. All right, now a lot of things, a few things. An expert might not be the exact right word to use, but energy. I mean, you know, there was a time I could care less about it. And then suddenly, everything changed. I think I was 30 years old when I came down here for the first time. I went with another comic, and we went through the Magic Kingdom and did a bunch of rides, and then for the next few days, I was here by myself, and I just went all over like Epcot Center all by myself and uh, the Magic Kingdom for a little bit, and I, I, just, I had the nicest time. There's so many things to see here, and like, I, I enjoyed looking at like all the different, um, all the different detail they put in all the, the, the country's pavilions, and I, I enjoyed the food, and I watched all the people, and I just, it was just wonderful. And uh, I've been coming back every chance I can get ever since. Okay, this is the end of our first night of our three-night party. So, uh, where do you go when the parks finally close? You go to sleep? I don't think so. You go to Pleasure Island, they got the best late-night seat around. Over seven nightclubs that are so hot, they are smoking. They got a top jazz club, an awesome dance palace, a country music hotspot, a comedy warehouse, and eight tracks relives the 70s. You can celebrate the 25th anniversary here, and every single night of the year, it's New Year's Eve. You know, I can kind of feel the tension already with these guys. Yeah, the countdown's coming. Here it comes, guys. To celebrate New Year's Eve and Walt Disney World's 25th anniversary at the same time, you need some extra special performers to bring in the next 25 years. And we got the best. Over at the Disney MGM Studios, it's the Pointer Sisters.
of the biggest party in the world, Disney World's 15 month long anniversary celebration. You're all invited and the party's going strong. Now I haven't even had my first cup of coffee, but who needs coffee when you got these guys, huh? <laughs> hey, wait a minute, there's the Cape Ron family. You guys are here bright and early. Oh, we're ready to get into Epcot. Absolutely, hey, Kristen, you got some real serious bedhead going on. You're, you're anxious to get into Epcot, huh? Look, I don't want to keep you. Okay. Go have your day. All right, Good to see you. Bye-bye. Good to see you guys. Bye -bye. Wow. <laughs> Great. You know, even though Epcot opened 11 years after the Magic Kingdom, it was Walt Disney's original dream for Disney World. Once again, the Disney Imagineers achieved the impossible by making Epcot rise out of the Florida wilderness. At Future World, you can learn the things you're going to need for the 21st century. You also get to try out high-tech toys and gadgets that aren't even in the stores yet. They also created Spaceship Earth, a 16 million pound geosphere, 100 and 80 feet high. And the Living Seas, where you can experience a thrilling underwater adventure at Sea Base Alpha. There you can talk to divers as they swim with the sharks, dolphins, and manatees. It's an aquarium so huge, you can actually fit Spaceship Earth inside of it. At the World Showcase, nations from around the globe host pavilions circling the World Showcase Lagoon. Now that's where you can take a trip around the world in an afternoon, experiencing the sights, the sounds, and the tastes of 11 countries. <laughs> Hi, we're all for one. Happy anniversary, Walt Disney World. To help celebrate Disney World's 25th anniversary, Disney MGM Studios is putting on a brand new live stage show based on Disney's 34th classic animated film. And in case you don't know the story, we found a few experts to help fill you in on the hunchback of Notre Dame. Right, Evan? Right. Morning in Paris, city awakes to the bells of Notre Dame. The fisherman fishes with bacon and bakes to the bells of Notre Dame. Quasimodo was really neat. He had a big old home. He's now the bell ringer. Friends or statues? The uh, gargoyles. Told them to sneak out to the Festival of Fools. He'd be furious if I asked to go. And who says you gotta ask? Esmeralda was really beautiful. that little goat looking thing and then the master saw him and said this is this is not right how dare you defy me you mistreat this poor boy the same way you mistreat my people silence justice Esmeralda saved Quasimodo so she hid in the church she met a cute prince but the bad guy shoots the prince can you hide him yes this way so Esmeralda gets arrested. And when Esmeralda was tied up, Quasimodo! And then it just turned into a big war. Ah! Ah! Citizens of Paris, Frollo has declared war on Notre Dame herself. Will we allow it? And the king tried to push Quasimodo over, but... Quasimodo and Esmeralda will always be friends. We live happily ever after. You know what?
have 10,000 media people down here for the 25th anniversary celebration. It's quite a fiesta, if you know what I mean. You know, folks, we're always hearing about the many new and exciting attractions here at Disney World, but how many of you know about the oldest attraction? Well, let me tell you. It's Cinderella's Golden Carousel in Fantasyland at the Magic Kingdom. It was built way back in 1917 for an amusement park in Detroit, Michigan, which means that it was already 54 years old when the Magic Kingdom opened. In fact, it was 11 years old already when Mickey Mouse made his screen debut as Steamboat Willie in 1928. So there's a great deal of history here, and we should acknowledge it. So happy 25th anniversary, Disney World. Wouldn't it be cool to actually drive one of those monorails? Well, that's what our guest family, the Caprons, are doing right now. See, it's another one of those cool things guests might get to do as part of a 25th anniversary magic moment. Hey, it's the Capron family. Your son wants to learn to drive a monorail. Gee, I'd love to. Great. Okay, that's what we have. We have our run stop switch and our forward reverse. This will let us go in forward or reverse at a top speed of 40. The red number right here indicates I'm in a 40 mile per hour speed zone. The green number right here indicates how fast I'm actually going. This is our master control arm, so if you want to go ahead and hold that down. Okay, Diane, now you're in full control, so we're just going to sit back and enjoy the ride. Okay, I think I'll just pull the throttle a little bit and go straight away. You don't even have to watch where you're going. Gee, Doug, this is uh, really a lot of fun. Do you think my boys can help out with sure. driving a little bit? Sure, not a problem. Okay, Christian. Grab a hold there. I'll oh, bring it back. There you go. Reach over here. Push that down once real quick. This one right here. Real quick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we getting yeah, close to that station right getting now? Getting close and just around the bend here. All right, um, maybe you should stop it at the station. <laughs> okay, I'll take over here for you. Did you know this is the 25th anniversary of Wally World, uh, Walt Disney World? Just kidding. Did you know this is the 25th anniversary of Walt Disney World, and this is my first time here? I'm proud to be an American. Happy 25th anniversary, Walt Disney World. Indiana Jones show's pretty cool, huh? I know, we should really... Oh, hey, how you doing? Got a little 25th anniversary trivia for you. In what order did they open the three Disney World water parks? Oh, well, that's no no-brainer for I me. know you know. This is for them. Give them a try. Oh, okay, okay. You got 10 seconds. Can I tell them? Knock yourself out. Okay, River Country was Disney World's first water park. It opened in the summer of 1976. It's like the perfect swimming hole. Great place to kick back or go screaming down the white water rapids. Next came Typhoon Lagoon in June of 1989. Now this place is totally cool. You can swim with real sharks, body surf at the wave pool, or zoom down Humunga Cowabunga. And in the spring of 1995, they opened Blizzard Beach. It's like a ski resort in the middle of Florida. You ride a ski lift to the top of Mount Gushmore for an extreme 65 mile an hour free fall down Summit. 65 miles an hour down a water slide, right? You know what we're talking here? The wedgie of a lifetime. All right, let's hit the beach. Okay. <sighs> I said beach. All oh, right, right. Walt Disney World. The memories I have of this place, coming here and bringing my own kids here, 
This week, some other kids, 2,500 members of the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, are here making memories of their own. Disney invited them to help celebrate their 25th anniversary, and right now they're getting a head start on the latest technology over at Epcot's Future World, which makes sense, because these kids are the future. Right now, we're all invited to the dedication of Walt Disney World's newest resort, the Boardwalk. Look, there's Miss America 1997, Tara Dawn Holland. Mickey and Minnie are here, too. What's your favorite part of the Boardwalk? Oh, I would say the Atlantic Dance Hall. It's this wonderful dance hall where you can go and you can dance to Latin music and big band music oh, and rock really? and roll music. Now, what is this Jelly Roll place? Oh, Jelly Rose is oh, a lot of fun. This is a dueling piano bar. Really? You get to sing along, and I mean really sing along. It's and the really food, because like when you oh, think of boardwalks, you oh, think of food and stuff. Oh, unbelievable restaurant. The yeah. flying fish is my favorite. And it's all fresh fish? All fresh fish. Wow, it's amazing. And then there's the ESPN Sports Bar. Oh, yeah, this is the sports clubs of sports clubs. This is the kind of place you can just kind of get lost in. Yeah, you really, isn't it nighttime? Yeah. That's when the magic really comes Really? Out. Why? Well, the lights. The oh, whole yeah. place has an unbelievable ambiance with mm -hmm. the lights. Well, you can't have a dedication without shooting someone out of a cannon. the 15 month long anniversary celebration it's been an incredible day and we can only think of one way to top it okay cape ron family you got to be in a parade you got to drive the monorail you met roy disney you met mickey mouse now for the most magical moment of all they get to show us what we've all been waiting to see the walt disney world 25th anniversary birthday cake one two three go And it's taken almost 500 gallons of pink paint just to frost it. Oh, yeah, you see those lollipops up there? They're 10 feet tall. The candles are 30 feet tall. I'm full of facts. <laughs> and the one on the very top, it reaches almost 200 feet into the sky. Yeah, I told her that. And as tasty as it looks, <laughs> you can't eat any of it. That's because it's got to last 15 months, but you can visit it anytime you want as part of Disney World's 25th anniversary celebration. All right. Check it out. Hi, I'm David Robinson. I want to say happy 25th anniversary, Walt Disney World. In Hollywood's heyday, they used to say there were more stars at MGM Studios than in all the heavens above. Guess what? They're back, helping us celebrate Disney World's 25th anniversary at Disney MGM Studios. Leading things off, you know it's a great parade if Bob Hope's the Grand Marshal. And there's the star of the cape, Corbin Burnson. That's Michael J. Fox right there, and he's helping us celebrate the 25th anniversary right here at Disney MGM Studios. Oh, and there's one of Disney's biggest fans, John Denver. Oh, it's Miss America 1997, Tara Don Holland, and a very lucky Tigger. Bill Nye, the science guy, making his way up the parade route. Al Michaels and Big Dan, football legends right there. These guys just got finished with Monday Night Football, and now they're here at Disney MGM Studios. See, another famous sportscaster, Brent Musburger. 
and two of the biggest celebrities of the parade, Toy Story's Buzz and Woody. Up oh, there's Ben Savage and Ryder Strong of Boy Meets World. Coming this way is Alex Trebek, a man always in jeopardy. <laughs> there's Buzz again, working the crowd. Here comes Kathy Lee and Frank Gifford on their way up the Chinese Theater at Disney MGM Studios. Well, look who we have here, Roger Rabbit. Please. Hey, it's the star of the hit series, The Drew Carey Show. Hey, how you doing? How about that? There he is, Michael Eisner, Mr. Disney, the big cheese, helping us bring in the 25th anniversary right here at Disney MGM Studios. Let's head on over to the Theater of the Stars at Disney MGM Studios and check back in on the Pointer Sisters. Yes, thank you so much. And thank you, Walt Disney, for 25 years. Thank you so much. And the Pointer Sisters want to thank you for 23 years. I tell you, you're almost as old as this, man. Hey! Look out. Here we go. A one, a two, a one. our third day of Disney's 25th anniversary celebration, I've got a very special guest, Sharon Lawrence from the Emmy Award-winning NYPD Blue. My favorite show, by the way. Thank you. I love that show. Hey, I got someone to meet, okay? Sure. Hey, come on in here, guys. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. This is the Capron family. This is Sharon Lawrence of NYPD Blue. Hi. Hi. What are you guys up to today? I don't know. We're going to go find out. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm sure they have another magic moment. It's all set up for you guys, so why don't you go ahead and I'll catch up with you later. Yeah. All right, go ahead, have fun. Bye, Bye. Bye guys. Bye. See you guys later. All right, now, Sharon, we've been asking all our favorite celebrity guests what their favorite part of Walt Disney World is. Oh, you're standing right in it. Come on, Disney MGM Studios? Yeah. I know. I spend half of my life in a movie studio, but this is, well, it's the Hollywood you dream about. You know, the restaurants, and I like the shows, and all the, the history that these buildings uh, I, have. I can give you a little history. You see, Disney MGM Studios opened May 1st, 1989. In fact, why don't we take a look at how they built it, and then let the Boys and Girls Club members kind of take us around and show us what it's like today. Great. Great. Boardwalk, 
Disney World is open would have to be its most unique resort, the Disney Institute. It's a great place to celebrate Disney's silver anniversary and a whole new way to take a vacation. There's not a place where anybody can go and learn to do, I don't know, topiary, or learn to do cooking, or learn to rock climb, or learn to do canoeing, and uh, do it with their whole family, and do it with other families, and, and, and have a good time doing it. What we're going to do is learn to eat healthy without sacrificing flavor. That is the key to healthy cooking. It's a typical vacation. You're just kind of laying on a lounge chair. And here you get to do different things and learn things you can take back home and have some fun with. There came a tapping as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. It's a wonderful thing for both the creative people, the artists and actors and writers and so on, but it's also for the audience, for the, for the public. Any other questions? I cannot imagine life without art. Some people don't realize how important it is. Just the idea to create such a great facility and a great place for art. Education has always been a very important part of filmmaking. And my feeling is that anything like this is something that uh, has to be supported. Things we're going to talk about today are the art of seeing and how no two people see alike. We're also going to talk about light and how light is really the essence of photography. One of the things that I really keenly feel is that I would like to go back to school. I think a lot of adults have that feeling that maybe college was wasted at the time because now I would like to be in college. I would like to be taking classes. And so uh, I think the Disney Institute feels uh, the same way and kind of feeds that hunger. Hi, this is Joe Montana and happy 25th anniversary, Disney World. the Capron family earlier this morning at the Disney MGM Studios. Now, let's catch up with them for an extra magical magic moment. The Chinese theater over at the studios shares a tradition with the original Chinese theater in Hollywood. Your favorite celebrities have placed their hand and footprints in the cement right out front. Today's special guest celebrities are... You guessed it, the Caprons. And they're about to leave their mark permanently right here at Walt Disney World. And now we're going to recreate a Hollywood tradition here. So I like to have all of the kids to get around the cement. And if everybody would, go ahead and raise your right hand. We're going to do one hand. And on the count of three, put your hands down in the cement and wiggle your fingers around so we get a good print. OK, here we go. Everybody help me out. Broadcasting live, WIBC in Indianapolis, the 25th anniversary of Disney World in uh, Orlando. And look at this fine group of youngsters we have for the Boys and Girls Club in Indianapolis. Say hi to Indianapolis, everybody. Hi! The great thing about Epcot is there's always something new and exciting here. Like this, for instance, the Test Track by GM. When it opens this spring, it's going to be your opportunity to get behind the wheel and test drive a car like a real professional. You will be whipping around the track in a life-size slot car going over 65 miles an hour. Now, when this ride opens, it's going to be the fastest and longest attraction at Walt Disney World. Doug. I'm a veteran of the rides at Walt Disney World. I've been on Tower of Terror, Space Mountain. These are fast rides. And I just told everybody that this is going to be the fastest ride at Disney World. Is that true? Yes, it is, absolutely. The vehicle will ultimately get up to 65 miles an hour, but you'll have to come back next summer to try it out. Now, for all the people at home, when they come to Disney World and come to see the test track when it opens, what can they expect? 
the most thrilling ride Disney has yet built. You're going to go through the paces like you're the proving grounds up in uh, Michigan. So you're actually going to get a chance to feel almost like a test dummy. Well, I wouldn't say a dummy, but you'll actually <laughs> feel like you're going through the paces that a test high-performance vehicle will go through. All right, so we got a model standing over here behind us. Can you walk me through and show me what we got? Certainly, I'd be happy to. Actually, okay. as a guest, you'll walk up, you'll see the track here. Right. You'll see this car whizzing around about every cool. 10 seconds. Wow. So, you know, okay, there's something fast and exciting here, very industrial looking. What's it sound like when it goes by? Is it pretty loud? Pretty much like an F-16 whizzing around. Woo. Here's some big electric motors. This is the safety testing right here with the crash test dummies. When you finish walking through, the component testing and safety testing, you'll go into a briefing room, and your safety director will go through his checklist as to what you're going to experience for the day on your own particular vehicle. So if this, if this track's a mile, and you're going 65 miles an hour, it probably only takes about a minute? Not the whole time. Ah. Inside the building, that's half the track. OK. Be your slow speed testing. You'll actually enter our environmental chambers. Initially, you'll come in, and we'll just bake you to death. Then you'll come next door to the next chamber, and we'll freeze your fanny off, the cold environment. And then you enter the final chamber, the corrosion chamber, where you'll have some corrosive mist spread all over you. And what you're looking at right here is our barrier test. As you're going through the paces inside the building, you'll actually see a mock-up. you see lights flashing, klaxons going off, a car will accelerate and smash into the barrier right there. And the other half is when you punch outside, which I think you've seen, some high-speed testing, high bank turns. That's when you'll get up to full speed, crank around the building, and go back inside. Then, the lights go off, you'll come around the corner, and you get to feel going through the barrier yourself. Whoa! In a few months, you'll be able to sit down, buckle up, and hold on for dear life. You see, in one of these test cars, thrills are standard equipment. Screaming? That's optional. It's the moment we've been waiting for. The Walt Disney World 25th Anniversary Rededication. Walt Disney World is proud to welcome the outstanding Florida A&M University Marching 100 Band.
76 piece ceremonial marching band filled Main Street. We recreate that historic moment now. Welcome, the head of the Walt Disney Company, Michael Eisner. I will never forget the first time I walked through the streets of the Magic Kingdom with my wife, but mostly with my three sons. We were awed by the beauty of the park, the architecture, the gardens, but most of all, we fell in love with the cast members. For all our years, we have never met a group of people so single-mindedly dedicated to a shared dream and so generously giving of themselves in order to create happiness for others. Finally, there's another group of people whom we salute today. They are the true kings and queens of the kingdom, the children who enter its gates every morning of the year. We are privileged to have as our special guests of honor this week, hundreds of children from the Boys and Girls Clubs chapters across America. On behalf of the entire Disney organization, our 100,000 cast members, and over 100 million past guests, let us rededicate ourselves to another 25 years of wonder and warmth and delight, another 25 years of Walt Disney World. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the First Lady of the United States, Hillary Rodham Clinton. Thank you very much. This is an amazing day. I look around and I see these beautiful young people, the choir behind the band and I have never seen a birthday cake like the one we're looking at today. And the president joins me in wishing everyone associated with Disney World a very happy birthday. And we do so because we want to thank all of you for what you have done to bring joy and delight to millions of young children and to the young at heart for these past 25 years. Happy, happy birthday, Walt Disney World. Thank you all. Today, one member of the Disney family carries on the family tradition with the company. Ladies and gentlemen, here to officially rededicate the Magic Kingdom and to read the words his father spoke at the grand opening of Walt Disney World 25 years ago is the vice chairman of the board and head of animation, Roy E. Disney. Good morning, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Isn't it wonderful how time flies when everyone's having fun? It really does seem like only yesterday that I stood on the platform of the railroad station watching Meredith Wilson lead 1,076 trombones up Main Street in honor of opening day. This morning, I find myself feeling more than just a little sentimental as we recreate the magnificent ceremonies that were staged here 25 years ago. After Walt's death in 1966, my dad spent the next five years, as it turned out, the last five years of his life, devoting himself to the realization of his little brother Walt's greatest dream. I would now like to read the words my dad spoke as he officially dedicated Walt Disney World. Walt Disney World is a tribute to the philosophy and life of Walter Elias Disney and to the talents, the dedication, and the loyalty of the entire Disney organization that made Walt Disney's dream come true. 
May Walt Disney World bring joy and inspiration and new knowledge to all who come to this happy place. A magic kingdom where the young at heart of all ages can laugh and play and learn together. Dedicated this 25th day of October, 1971, by Roy O. Disney. Greetings from the White House. I'm delighted to have this opportunity to speak to you on the eve of Disney World's 25th anniversary. Hillary, Chelsea, and I all send our congratulations and warmest regards to the dedicated men and women of the Walt Disney Company who explore the limitless frontier of the imagination. For 25 years, Disney World's thrilling rides and wonderful exhibits have delighted families from all over the world, including our own, and enriched the childhoods of countless children Walt Disney believed in the magic of dreams because he knew that they really can come true if you work hard to achieve them and if you have the opportunity to do so. Have a wonderful celebration and remember the magic. Can you remember the way it used to feel when you believed and made believe and fairy tales were real? Thank you for sharing 25 years of Walt Disney World magic. And we also want to thank all the special people who helped us with this kickoff of this fabulous party. Especially Tom and Diane and the whole Capron family. And remember, the party's just getting started. It's going to be going on the rest of this year and all of 1997. The best is yet to come.
your free copy of our Walt Disney World 25th Anniversary Planning Video, which includes planning tips, information on attractions and resorts, and our new entertainment for the 25th, call 1-800-222-7452. Accommodations provided by the Disney Institute. Hey, welcome back. Hope you had as much fun as we did in our special edition of Inside Out, celebrating Walt Disney World's 25th anniversary. And it's going to be an unbelievable 15 months. And you'll want to stay with Inside Out each week because we'll be taking a look at all the 25th excitement as it happens along with everything else going on right here at Disney World. That's right. In fact, just to give you an idea of what's coming up in the months ahead, we put together a year-long calendar. So why don't you just uh, sit back, relax, and take a look at what's coming your way now through 1997. This month kicked it all off with the official rededication of the Magic Kingdom and the transformation of Cinderella's castle into a gigantic birthday cake, 135 feet tall. The world premiere of the 25th anniversary parade, Remember the Magic. The opening of Mickey's Toontown in the Magic Kingdom. The debut of Illuminations 25 at Epcot and Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival. Plus the kickoff of the all-new Universe of Energy show starring Ellen DeGeneres. Pleasure Island gets you into the swing of things in October with the fourth annual Jazz Festival. And for you golf lovers, Disney hosts the 26th annual PGA Oldsmobile Golf Classic with some of the top names in golf. And what a great way to wrap up a howling good October than with Mickey's not-so-scary Halloween party in the Magic Kingdom. Or head on over to Pleasure Island for a great mix of music, entertainment, fortune tellers, and lots of ghostly surprises. November gets underway with some good time celebrating as Epcot welcomes up-and-coming country performers in a country showdown. Over at the Disney Village, the 21st Annual Festival of the Masters gets underway with a weekend of great art you won't want to miss. And the Contemporary Resort is the scene for Disney's annual teddy bear and doll lovers convention. Later this month, Epcot celebrates the genius of inventors in the 24th Annual Inventors Conference and Expo. Christmas is just a few weeks away, and the Disney MGM Studios invites you to celebrate the holidays with the breathtaking spectacle of lights, the biggest display of Christmas lights in the entire world. It's holidays around the world at Epcot with the spectacular Lights of Winter, a special Christmas performance of Illuminations and nightly performances of Candlelight. There's no more magical place than Disney at the holidays. So bring the family and celebrate with Jolly Holidays, a spectacular all-you-can-eat holiday dinner show. It's a Disney holiday tradition in the Magic Kingdom. Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, featuring holiday performances, the Very Merry Christmas Parade, and a spectacular Christmas performance of Fantasy in the Sky fireworks. And beginning December 21st, catch daily in the Magic Kingdom, the Very Merry Christmas Parade, with Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus, and the whole Disney gang decked out for the holidays. Bring in the new year at Disney's Pleasure Island with a giant street party featuring top name entertainment and a spectacular countdown to the new year complete with fireworks. Or check out the Disney MGM Studios where you can ring in the new year Hollywood style. The 25th anniversary celebration continues all through 1997. And January gets off to a running start with the fourth annual Walt Disney World Marathon, a 26.2-mile road race through all three Disney theme parks featuring some of today's top marathoners. 
Rev up your engines as big time auto racing comes to Disney World in January with the second annual running of the Walt Disney World Indy 200. Tired of the cold and snow? Leave it all behind with Disney's Sunshine Getaway. This month, let's go fly a kite during the annual Festival of Kites at Epcot. It's the largest kite festival of its kind in North America. February brings all the excitement, music, and entertainment of Mardi Gras at Pleasure Island with Dixieland bands, parades, stilt walkers, and Cajun food specialty. At Epcot, it's African American Music Month, spotlighting some of today's most renowned jazz and gospel performers. In March, Epcot celebrates country with some of today's top country and bluegrass performers. And Pleasure Island celebrates the green with authentic Irish music and lots of St. Patrick's Day fun. Over at the Magic Kingdom, put on your Easter bonnet as Mickey, Minnie, Roger Rabbit, and Mr. and Mrs. Easter Bunny celebrate the holiday tradition of the Walt Disney World Happy Easter Parade. Spring is in bloom at Epcot as the annual International Flower and Garden Festival welcomes you with over three million blooms, floral displays, topiary exhibits, and special guest lecturers and workshops. Also kicking off in April and continuing through June is Epcot's Pops Concert, a series of special outdoor concerts from the America Garden stage. And it's party all night long in the Magic Kingdom as Disney's annual all-night grad night begins. Sports is the big news this May at Walt Disney World with the grand opening of Disney's new sports complex, a multi-sports venue where both amateur and professional athletes will come to train and compete. This month, Pleasure Island invites you to celebrate Cinco de Mayo, Mexican Independence Day with music, dance, and fabulous food. And Mom's in for a very special treat on her special day as Epcot's International Flower and Garden Show puts on a special Mother's Day celebration. Test Track, the longest, fastest ride in Disney history, presented by General Motors, opens this month in Epcot. You'll climb, spiral, and snake your way through this nearly mile-long track. It's Dad's turn to be in the spotlight this Father's Day, as the Disney MGM Studios celebrates with the annual Home Improvement Father's Day Power Parade that'll roar down Hollywood Boulevard with monster trucks, hot rods, and a whole lot more. Get set for the coming of Hercules, Disney's newest animated release, as movies come to life at the Disney MGM Studios in a spectacular new Hercules parade. There's music in the air all summer long at Epcot, as the young, talented musicians of the All-American College Band and Chorus perform live in concert from the America Garden stage. In the biggest kickoff yet to the 4th of July weekend, Pleasure Island gets the fun going with music, entertainment, and a giant street party plus spectacular fireworks. Also in July, the grand opening of the new Disney District with great dining, entertainment, and the biggest Disney store in the entire world. Look to the stars this month as Epcot celebrates Space Week with a salute to space pioneers and a celebration of man's first landing on the moon. August is Latin Rhythm Month at Epcot, where you can catch the best of traditional and new pop Latin performers in a variety of music and dance. From antiques to original artwork to one-of-a-kind Disney collectibles, if you're into Disney, then you won't want to miss the semi-annual Disneyana convention this September. And there's plenty to get jazzed about at Epcot as its annual month-long Epcot Jazz Series begins. Oh, man, I'm exhausted just hearing about it all. It is going to be an incredible 15 months here, isn't it? Yeah, and what's cool is it's all happening during Walt Disney World's 25th anniversary celebration. So tune in each Sunday right after the magical world of Disney for Walt Disney World Inside Out. It's right here on the Disney Channel. Yeah, and you won't want to miss a minute of the fun.
Night. See ya. For your free copy of Walt Disney World's 25th anniversary calendar of events, stop by the Disney Store. Or your